Okay, continuing on. Seeing and truly hearing versus hearing but not seeing. What do you see? Do you see the word as the letter or do you see it as spirit and life? Do you focus on the sorrow and the toil, thinking that must be what God wants? Or do you look at the big picture and see that God created Adam and Eve, put them in the garden, and gave them access to everything? The tree of life and all the trees in the garden, they had this glorious situation. Yes, they fell, but then God immediately intervened. He gave them the he gave them the, the gospel concerning the seed, offered up an animal for them, covered them with his skins, and blessed them. They didn't die. God's intention is life. His desire for man is good. Amen. It all comes down to what you think is the nature of God. Is he for you or against you? What you offer will be based on what you see. All Cain could see was that God wants the work of our hands, our toil, and sweat, something from this ground. He didn't even acknowledge that the ground is cursed. Abel, on the other hand, chose to be a shepherd so that he could offer the first leg, or first, excuse me, the first leg of the flock with the fat portion. He knew God's heart. It all comes down to a spirit of wisdom and revelation. What do you see? People read Colossians and Ephesians looking for marriage advice and instructions to follow. But these books offer heavenly views of God's heart, his desires in creating the universe, and what he's accomplishing in Christ. Amen. The works person is just looking at themselves, searching for something to do to make themselves righteous. The root of this is vain glory. It's not even a desire to please God. It's rooted in an accusation of God's character. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil was based on an accusation that God was withholding from them because he didn't want them to be like him and live forever. This was based on a vainglorious desire to be like God, which was the root of the sin an accusation of God's character. This is the first, excuse me, this is the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is religion. Religious people don't love God. They want to love God. They want to be the kind of person that loves God, but they very desire is what their very desire is worldly. It's the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. It is vain glory. This is proven when their offering is rejected and they see a righteous person blessed by God, even though they're a sinner. They double down and hate him. Their countenance falls and they're full of wrath. That's what Cain did. He revealed what was really motivated, what was really motivating him when his countenance fell. He is motivated by vain glory. He didn't love God. He thinks God is a hard taskmaster. This lazy shepherd offers up a firstling of the flock and he's accepted. A works toil. Excuse me. I worked. I toiled. Just like God told us to. They were both responding to things God said. What's interesting is God didn't say anything when he killed the animal. He acted it out as a picture and covered them. But he didn't really explain the significance, at least in the record we have. Whereas Cain, his response was based on what God literally said. In sorrow, you're going to be toiling and eating bread from the sweat of your face. Hmm, interesting. So Abel had revelation. His decision to become a shepherd and offer the firstling of the flock was based on a vision of watching God, excuse me, was of watching what God does and looking into his character and understanding why he did it. It's a big picture kind of view of God, whereas Cain just blindly followed the letter of what God said. Now, I'm not saying we should dismiss the literal 
in the scriptures, but there's a fundamentalist way to read them, which is hard hearted and uh, obstinate that doesn't see God. It only sees letter on the page. Amen.